Hello! Sugamaro! Suga! <laughs> oh, he said Suga! Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. I'm here at Dreamcatcher's Plantation Resort and look at that beautiful mountain. Second tallest mountain in all of South India, baby. And uh, we're here in the resort, in the tea gardens, in Muna. I'm finally here in Muna. I've been uh, requested a lot of times to be visiting Muna, but finally, yesterday we made the visit up here, about four and a half hours by car, and you know, it's absolutely beautiful. I, I've told people this so many times that I love mountains. I love beaches, and I love mountains even more. So, of course, I'm going to love Muna, but look how crazy my house is. Literally, about 20 steps, and it's on stilts. <laughs> and we got an amazing view out to that mountain, and we're just in nature, so it's just a beautiful place to be. So uh, we'll head up to the tea gardens now, and I'll give you guys a quick little view of what this place is. It's absolutely amazing. This is literally tea, 26 acres of tea here. They harvest this every couple of months, and it's just so beautifully laid out, and there's little cottages along the way. And I'm just gonna chill out for a little bit and just let you guys listen to how peaceful this is. It's just like so nice. Anyway guys, we're gonna head to reception now and meet with my friend CB and he's going to be taking us around all the sightseeing spots here in Muna. So it's gonna be an awesome day and uh, we'll catch up with you guys when we're at reception. All right guys, we're at reception. Yesterday we went to a wonderful place to have some food and we actually had these gooseberries. They were soaked in honey and they were delicious but they actually grow on this property and there's people here just knocked some down and we got some. I've already tasted it, and it's got to be one of the most sour things I've ever tasted, but I am gonna put myself through the torture again and try it again, just to get my reaction on video. So, this is for you guys. Ugh. It's so sour. <laughs> that is like, got to be one of the most disgusting things I've tasted <laughs> but when they're in when they're in honey it's amazing but when they're when they're from nature so so sour but I think our lift is here <laughs> Guys, we come to the most beautiful part of the plantation and you know it's the most beautiful because there's literally hundreds of people here but it really is very nice very pretty and we got people selling coconuts and stuff there's even horses down here but as you saw in yesterday's video we actually have already ridden on a horse but it'll be cool to go check out these horses just because <laughs> there's a horse Hello. Hello. Name? Name, Name. Sosam. Sugamano Sosam. <laughs> Alright. But they're just chilling. Look how beautiful this place is, guys. Oh my god. It is amazing. Wow. It's just so busy, though, you know. Many of you guys know I don't really like being in tourist areas just because it's not that fun for me, but this is a must visit place, Muna, because it really is just so beautiful. It's amazing. Saw some. <laughs> it's the horse, saw some. Guys, I just ran into a bunch of fans, which is just crazy. I keep running into you guys literally everywhere now. It's just all over Kerala. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much for the support. But it's just so awesome meeting you guys and just hanging out, getting to understand what you guys are doing here, like, he's in Mornar as well as I am, like, that's just so coincidental, but it's awesome. We're out here, blue, look how blue the sky is, and there's like a, a jet doing one of those lines, I'm not sure what they are, but it's just beautiful out here. Literally above me, there's about 50 bees nests, and 
you won't be able to see with the honey <laughs> with the honey i'm now i'm in bee terminology you won't be able to see with this camera but literally there's 50 massive nests filled with honey there's like oh my like you can see just there it's literally orange and yellow because the honey it's just like i'm i'm speechless there are so many and you can see the bees flying around there are so many this is crazy oh, we can take this okay we're getting some fresh local fruit this lady here was washing them all off all the carrots look how cool carrots are <laughs> they're so awesome Passion fruit. Ah, passion fruit. Okay. okay. What is the price of one of these? Twenty rupees. Twenty rupees. Yeah. Wow. Passion fruit. She's going to cut it. Uh We can take a video. Oh, look at all the carrots here. Wow. Okay. Thank you. Fantastic. It's got the passion fruit. This is literally the first time I've ever had passion fruit. I've never like, it's sort of common in Australia. But like, it tastes really good. And because this is literally like fresh, probably picked today or yesterday. Mm. Mm. <laughs> They've got like a funny texture. It's like gooey as well as the seeds they're crunchy so it's like a mix a blend a nice blend that's really sweet that's just really good how much is one passion fruit one is like 15 15 rupees yeah. wow and um, literally 15 rupees for one that's not even that's about 30 cents in australia it would cost maybe one dollar for one super expensive i know but i can't believe carrots 20 rupees just for one bunch so that's so awesome and they're literally like the freshest fruits you'll find because they're grown locally they're picked and like washed by hand so it's like perfect but just look how beautiful this is oh there's also more over here let's go check out this store but just, I love how it's all so green, you know? Everywhere you look is just green. Green tea garden. Green uh, everything. More carrots. Oh, you even have lays. Hello. Hey. This, uh, this store is not as, uh, you know, advanced. This store has a lot more options, you know? Okay. This is corn fry. Oh, corn. Yeah, okay. locally only. Yeah. Cultivate locally only. How much is uh, one corn fry? 50 rupees. Okay. Oh, I always see people doing this. Mm -hmm. Wow, this is going to taste so good. I love corn. So that just blows uh, oxygen into the fire so obviously fire is fueled by oxygen you know and wood and then you can just play okay first time trying corn fry wow that was actually a delicious oh my god wow because you also get like a little bit of like the taste of charcoal and smoke 
That's very nice. Wow. From now on, if I ever see this on the street, I'm gonna buy it. All right, so the carrots that we bought, we're gonna try them. Oh, carrot cake. <laughs> Really taste how fresh it is. Yes. Literally, like. Mm. Getting the light. The best carrots you'll ever find. Seriously, look, look how beautiful this place is. We came from over that way. There's the damn wall. But the water's just so blue. The sky's so blue. And then there's like the mountains in between the two. People are speedboating over there. It seriously just is like really amazing. This is literally why I love mountains. I love the Himalayas. Now I love Munana. and I'm so excited to see like the rest of the places in the hill stations because seriously it's just amazing. Water and hills, blue sky, I don't think you can get much better than that. And it's like perfect climate, as I said. Really cool, nice little breeze. Like it's just out of body. All right guys, so we're at an echo point. Apparently, if you yell, it comes back at you but the water's changed from literally bright blue to dark green how crazy is that okay where do i yell where is the echo point all this place we can make a noise it will come okay we have to be very loud but seriously look how beautiful this is very touristy but you know it is what it is. When there's like such beautiful locations, then of course there's gonna be tourists here. It actually works. Go. Woo! Woo! It literally like sounds Woo! like. <laughs> Woo! Oh my god, this is so cool. <laughs> it sounds like it's coming from over there. Oh, someone else is yelling. Oh yeah, there, there. Other people were yelling. They call oh. your name, it will come. Look! Yeah, hi. Look! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bro, hi. Someone's calling my name. Oh my god. Can you whistle? I don't know. Oh. Someone will find someone who will be back. That'd be so cool. Some, some people will be there and find. Oh, it works well over there. Yeah, yeah. I think I need to people, Imagine coming here for your first time. You just see people yelling into the water. You'd be like, what the hell is going on here? Okay, I think we found the best spot for it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, that works well. The whistle works. <laughs> we must look like crazy people yelling. <laughs> oh, this is cool. Hey, we got some friends here. Sumano? Calendar? Oh. Oh, you don't speak Malayalam. Okay. Hindi? Kese? Okay, I guess not. But. <laughs> <laughs> Cows are so funny. Look how cool they are. Literally just chilling. He doesn't even like care that I'm here vlogging in front of him. What's up, bro? Jetta. Hey, Alien. But this is just awesome out here. There's no way that the GoPro would have picked up the like audio of the echo coming back, but it's really cool. It's really, really awesome. I got a video on my phone that picked it up. So if you want to check out like what it sounds like, check out my Instagram at Luke Demant. It uh sort of I posted a video just then of it and it looks so it sounds so much better on my iPhone than the GoPro just because this doesn't really pick up far sounds. It just picks up like my voice. But it's seriously so cool out here. Just look how beautiful that is. Wow. Hello. Sugamano. <laughs> Sugar. Oh, he said sugar. Yeah. <laughs> Try this. Homemade chocolate. Homemade special homemade only. Pure cocoa nut maita mixer. Wow, very nice. There are different flavors. Oh, different coconut, corn flour. Okay. Mix of coconut and corn flour. 
sweet. Coco. 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 Wow, it tastes like very, very nice, but also a lot different to like the Cadbury chocolate. It feels sort of more like real, you know. Not milk, white cocoa. Okay. White chocolate. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that. Mm. White chocolate's good as well, but that is amazing. <laughs> Unboxing. <laughs> Alright, guys, so we're checking out another one of the properties that CB owns, it's literally in the middle of nowhere. So like, no one's disturbing you. It's just in nature again. The property is here. All of your properties are very in the middle of the bush. Oh, the plantations. Yeah, yeah. You have all the plantations. Yeah, and it's so like, just silent. But this place is so like, homely, you know? Typical Kerala home. Oh. It's like, called Nadutala. Okay. And it's just so like, beautiful. <laughs> like artistically, you know? Nice bricks, nice wood, and then look how beautiful that little area is. And then into the balcony. You need to be misty. In yeah. Evenings. Wow. Evenings and mornings it will be. Mm mm mm. But you can just chill here and uh, look out into nature and just like listen to all the insects doing their thing and birds chirping. It's just so peaceful out here. We're at another one of the resorts, just down the road. Look how cool the spiral staircase is, right? Into the rocks, there's carved staircases down into the room. And, oh, look at this room, it's a circle bed. There's a rock. <laughs> Literally in the room is a rock. Look how cool this is. Like solid rock. Wow. Alright guys, so we finished up the day of sightseeing around Muna. Seriously, it is just blowing me away how much I love mountains. I've said this so many times over the past few days. I'm literally looking out my window to a mountain. The second biggest mountain in all of Kerala. But uh, yeah, seriously, it's such a beautiful place. There's just dams, there's lakes, there's rivers. It really is just stunning and it's just a really nice place. It really has surprised me how beautiful Muna is and I'm so glad that I have actually come up here for a few days. But uh, tomorrow we're actually waking up at 4.30, no, 3.30, 3.30 a.m. to uh, go one hour away in a car. Then we'll go one hour up this mountain in a Jeep. And uh, yeah, it's going to be awesome. We're going to the tallest mountain in all of Kerala, all of South India. So that's going to be something that's going to be crossed off my bucket list. And we're literally going to watch the sunrise from the highest point in all of South India, which is going to be crazy. We're literally going to be above the clouds watching the sun rise it's just going to be awesome and yeah you know hopefully we can wake up in time 3 30 a.m is probably the earliest i've woken up in my whole entire life i mean should i even go to sleep tonight is there even any point i don't even know anyway guys <laughs> i need to get some sleep we're going to have an early night tonight i'm going to have dinner now and then head straight to bed but thank you so much for watching everybody as always chase your dreams and peace out we'll see you guys in the next video